What's up YouTube, back today in the fish room. And today we went to the local fish swap where I got some really, really beautiful fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and send you guys to this intro and pick back up and show you what we got today. Before I go ahead and show you all the beautiful pickups from today, I want to go ahead and give you guys some sad news first. The uh, star, star sapphire cichlid that was down here in this 75 gallon with the white ivory head, he was chasing this guy around really bad yesterday, so I ended up putting him into my 125 over here, and these guys just did not accept him, so he was great. It all happened while I was at the uh, fish swap, but as you can see now, I have him down in this tank and he is beat the heck up. And I'm talking literally this happened within a couple hours. He was A1 before I left because I just checked on him and came home and he is all tore up. So I don't know if he's gonna make it, but I'm gonna do my best. I separated him. There's nothing really I could do besides put some metal fix in the tank and hope for the best, but I don't know guys, it's not looking too good. But anyways, enough with the sad news. I wanna go ahead and show you some of the fish that I got. I still got these guys acclimating right now. So right here is, uh, I got some Phosphochromis rostratus. I got two of them. They believe that it was a male and a female. So I'm not 100% sure either. I haven't vented them. That's the only way to be 100% sure. But I also got some, oh, here's the other rostratus right here. So I got two of them. And then I have, this is the main reason what I went there for today. And that is these uh, albino Turkish. So I got two of these guys. These guys look to be amazing quality. They're awesome fish and I got them for a pretty good deal. As you can see, I pre-ordered these. And then I also came up across this one right here, which, oh, nope, that's the other Turkish. This one right back here. So this is right here is, I don't know if you guys can see them too well. That's an albino red empress, so been wanting some of these fish for a while now so it's pretty dope to finally get my hands on some so super happy about that but anyways i gotta go ahead and uh this tank looks like crap right now because i've been kind of using this as a holding tank moving tanks around so i have my julie duchromis in here hiding somewhere i gotta get that fish out of here before i release these guys and they're only going to be in here for probably a day or two until i get this uh new tank set up in there so i got this 90 gallon right here i gotta set up but yeah, I also got these uh, BODs right here, as you can see, five for thirty. Not a good, not a bad deal. And he also gave me a little play on it. So hopefully, I get some more females because the uh, group I have in here that I grew out ended up being really, really male heavy, as you can see. I got a couple of females, but a lot of males. So I want to kind of get some more females in here. So hopefully, that some of them are in there are females, and that will help with the uh, ratio in this aquarium. I'm also going to get these dragon bloods and stuff out of here. That's a, a Azul. So, starting to get some color on her. But yeah, I got to uh, get them guys in this tank as well. I also bought some uh, plants for the new aquarium right there. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab the plants. And if you guys watched my last video, this is me setting up this aquarium. This is the next day, actually, from my last video. So, as you can see, everybody's starting to do really well. It looks like a lot of these Rominos are getting comfortable already. They're starting to get their color back, so that's always good to see. But yeah, this tank looks absolutely amazing. It's still a little cloudy, but it should clear up here in a few days. Um, but yeah, anyways, I don't even remember what these are called because I was just kind of grabbing random things, and I'm also not a plant guy. I just pretty much told the, uh, the kind lady at the stand, I just told her I want some easy plants. I, I can't keep anything alive, so... She kind of walked me through and picked out some things for me. So hopefully I get some good luck out of these. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is the one water sprite. I remember this one. But yeah, I'm going to get these guys up in here and it should make the tank look nice and full. Give it exactly what it needs and hopefully you won't have to buy anything else. Just let it kind of grow in and see where this uh, tank is here in a few few months or whatever. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go catch that Julie Duchromis, which I'm also going to be adding into this aquarium right here. So 
which they were all together before so I'm just putting them back in here so I'll go ahead and do that and pick the camera up here in a second all right guys so I got all the plants in here also got the Julie Duchromis in there as you can see that guy right there looking absolutely wonderful but yeah this tank's looking great of course it's a little foggy right now I just kind of stirred everything up putting all them plants in there I put uh, the valve in the back well, I don't think it's actual valve it's some different name I forgot but it's in the back back there I got this new plant right there the water sprites right there and then I split the other two you can see a little piece right there and then another little piece right there I split them up so yeah hopefully here in six months or so this tank is absolutely overrun by plants it already almost is I'm surprised that I filled it out so nice so fast so yeah it's looking great I also moved around some of the Nubius I put that right there and moved the, the that one right there from over here so I just kind of spread everything out and now I'm definitely not going to touch this tank I'm just going to let it mature and settle in and hopefully everything just takes off and does what I want it to do so but yeah anyways I got to go ahead and get these these other fish out of these bags they're acclimated now their water was really really cold so I wanted to let them sit on sit in the tank a little longer make sure they're nice and comfortable before I release them so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and see you guys there all right guys, so before I release these black orange dorsals, I want to go ahead and feed these guys. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys how these guys eat. So these are definitely my top two or three fish, definitely. I got a lot of favorites, but these are definitely up there. So as you can see, they're absolutely be beautiful. Everybody always calls them the Mohawk fish, which is funny to me because they're jet black with just the orange stripe on the top. Uh, upper dorsal fin or whatever but yeah absolutely stunners so i'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys a little bit more i also have 10 ascinodonis catfish in here you can see them over in that cave messing around yeah, these guys eat like crazy and then i also have some hiding in here with like always but yeah this tank also got a nice water change last night so it's looking nice and crystal clear but when doesn't it but yeah, I'm a little nervous about releasing these guys in here. As you can see, they're quite a bit smaller than these guys. So I'm almost debating on uh, putting them in another tank, but I think it should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and fatten these guys up real quick. Also, from my experience, the BODs are, tend to be a little more docile than a lot of other Lake Malawi-specific fish. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up and try to see if I can get a good angle to release these guys in. If not, I'll see you guys then. All right guys, so I got these guys dumped out of there and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys releasing them. And there they go, another new home. Kind of checking them out. Ooh, that one's real little. If I would've realized how little that one was. <laughs> that guy is a little guy. Ooh wee, I would've probably separated him, but doesn't look like they're being chased or messed with just yet thank god so and there's a good amount of fish in here so they might be able to get away and should be fine hopefully but yeah as always i'm gonna keep a good eye on these guys if i need to i'll set up a little 10 gallon to put them in or i got a few other fry tanks some guys are probably getting a little too big now but i got these these ones right here growing out and this tank as well so got a few different tanks i can put them in if i need to be but wow that guy is small but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get down there at the end and show me show you guys me releasing them dun, dun, dun. all right guys so the time has come for me to go ahead and get these fish out of these bags i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys kind of how i do everything i kind of just pour them into this net over this bucket so i don't drop any of the fish and i don't get any of the water in the aquarium which it's a no, no other fish are in the aquarium, so it doesn't really matter as much anyways, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start off with this one right here, which this guy is just absolutely beautiful. Wow! Albino Red Empress, or my new Albino Red Empress. Super excited about that fish. Wasn't really expecting to get this guy, but it, I mean, I would consider it a huge plus that I found him, and I just couldn't pass him up, obviously, so I got some pretty thick bags on here as well. So yeah, what I do is just go ahead and plop them on in there, put the bag right there, and put this guy up in here. So, the first one in, and also I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all these fish once I'm done in the tank. So, these guys are pretty big. This is the uh, Fossochromus rostratus, predator half, 
I don't have too many predator hats anyway, so it's pretty cool to add this into my uh, collection of fish. The only other predator hat I have is my uh, albino eye biter over here. Pretty excited about these guys. And he says he believes one was a male and one was, like they're on sex obviously, but he said a possible male and female. Pop in there. This is the other Restratus. I believe it was the uh, one I just released that they thought was the male. So I'm thinking this one might be the female. Ooh, that water stinks. Yeah, who knows how long these fish have been in these bags. So let's go and get them out of here. I'm also going to get this tank of water change once I'm done. And now on to my favorite pickup of the day. The albino Turkish, these guys seem to have a really nice blaze on them as you can see, or I don't know if you can't see, but I'm assuming. <laughs> and also when you're doing this and the fish have been in bags a long time, you want to go ahead and get these fish out of these bags as soon as possible because as soon as you open that bag and the fresh oxygen hits, that's when the ammonia spikes from the air. So if you guys don't know, now you know. So here they are here in the tank and they are just looking absolutely great already. And I can't wait to watch these guys go ahead and settle in because then they're going to color back up and look amazing. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give these guys a, a water change and just kind of tidy up this tank a little bit because it's just a holding tank for the time being. Because I'm going to be setting these guys up a new aquarium here soon, which is that 90 gallon right there. And that's all I'm going to show you for now. So stay tuned. Next video, that's what it's going to be is me setting up that aquarium. And those aren't the only fish that's going to be going in this aquarium. I have some beautiful, beautiful fish going into there. Oh, look at this guy. And one more, one more second before I end this video out. I just want you guys to go ahead and pray for my guy right here, Little Blue. Because it is not looking too good for him. But hopefully he'll turn back around. He definitely got his butt kicked. I've seen fish come back from worse, so... But yeah, there's really nothing I can do but turn the lights off and hope for the best. So, prayers for blue down in the comments below. But yeah, guys, also, the uh, BODs are looking really good in here. I don't see them getting chased around or anything. Then we're seeing the new guys as well. And the biggest one that was in that bag I got was probably a little bit bigger than the tiniest one in here. So, hopefully they'll they are fine. I do not see the real, real tiny one at the moment though so i don't know where he went but hopefully he's in here somewhere and doesn't get eaten or picked off so yeah and this tank is obviously looking just absolutely wonderful like this is this is probably one of my favorite tanks at the time being but that's obviously just because i just set it up so yeah yeah sorry i didn't uh get any footage at the swap i forgot my tripod at home but yeah, I messed up. Next one, I'm gonna probably try to record. Let me know if you guys think that'll be something you guys wanna see. I'm just curious if you guys will tag along for that, so. But yeah, that's probably it for today's video. If you guys made it to this point, I appreciate you. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Keep up to date. See this tank get set up and turn into a masterpiece. And also stay, stay tuned for all the other tanks because their tanks are just maturing. Fish are breeding, new fish are coming. So got a lot going on here in the fish room and a lot more to come. So go ahead and see you guys in the next one.